Hello everyone, welcome back. We have here today a problem of elastic section modulus. So we have to calculate the elastic section modulus of this shape. And if you have watched uh, a few of our video, you will realize that we have solved a few problems on this particular shape. Initially, we solved for the centroid along the y axis, about the x axis, as you can see the value. So, CY from the bottom is 7.39 inches, and CY from the top is 5.61. So, we solved that earlier in our, in, in our previous, uh, the previous video. In addition to that, we also saw for the moment of inertia about the x axis. And if you remember the value with that, with that moment of inertia about x axis to be 700, uh, 373 point4 inches to the four tau. That's what we have. So with those two values, the centroid along the y axis, and uh, this is uh, x total x that's uh, total moment of inertia about the x axis. So with these two value, you are able to solve for the elastic section modulus. And in this particular beam, in this particular shape, you realize that the area of the top section about the centroid. It's not the same. In other words, if, I, if we were to divide this beam into two areas along the centroid, this area will not be equal to this area. As you can see, this is 10 inches. This is only 5 inches. So uh, as a result of that, we want to solve for the, uh, the elastic section modulus. And that can be very important depending on what you are looking for. For example, if we are to solve for the maximum stress on the top of the beam, or just solve for the maximum stress on the beam, the section modulus will help you identify what will be the maximum or minimum uh, stress you are dealing with. So in this case, we are going to solve for the two, the section modulus from the extreme fiber from the bottom to the centroid and from the ex extreme fiber from the top to the centroid. So let's solve for that. So the two values we need are here. The moment of inertia, so the formula is, all right? So, and depending on whether you are looking for the top or for the bottom. So in this case, let's start from the top. Our moment of inertia stay the same. Inches to the fourth power. It's always a good idea to carry a unit along. And then from the top is 5.61 inches. And you realize that this inch cancel out. And another inch here you have you are left with inches to the top, to the third power. So if you do that max, you are going to have 50.5 inches to the third. So that's your elastic section modulus from the extreme fiber on the top to the central. Now let's look for the same from the bottom. So that will be the same moment of inertia divided by your centroid along the y axis from the extreme fiber on the bottom. That's 7.39 inches. Okay. If you do this mass also, you are going to have 66.5 inches to the third. So that's it. That's a, that's a solution. Check those numbers out. 
So in a situation where you're asked to find the maximum moment, uh, the maximum stress rather, if you're asked to calculate the maximum stress, and you realize that maximum stress is given as M over S, so you will notice that the lowest value will give you the maximum. So that means the maximum for this beam will be on the top because that's where you have the lowest uh, section modulus. Okay? This one will give you the maximum. This, this, will, be, this, this will give you your maximum. Alright? So, so that's, the, that's the solution for, uh, for this simple sh for this uh, composite shape. I hope uh, it helps. Let's go over it again. Free to comment. Thank you very much.